This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Mary Nelson with 3 News Now. So far this month, six people have been killed in Omaha. It seemed like a high number, so we look for context. In previous years, typically two to three people are killed each August. Last night, there were multiple shootings where four people had non-life-threatening injuries. We talked to neighbors who told us they're scared. In a statement to 3 News Now, OPD says spikes in violent crime are not uncommon, adding the department has a game plan to intervene. And Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is preparing for its last late night at the zoo for the year tomorrow. Like the others, it'll include animals, food trucks, and drinks, but there will also be a giveaway gang cruising around in a golf cart. Plus, prizes ranging from free drinks to admission tickets. Visit omahazoo.com to reserve your spot. And I'm 3 News Now Meteorologist Caitlin Connell here with a look your weather. Tonight we do keep those mostly clear skies. It will be cool and comfortable as we drop back down to 62 degrees with some nice light winds in between 5 and 10 miles per hour. As we progress into our Thursday, 85 degrees is back with some isolated and scattered storms possible late towards the dinner time hours and then it could even last into our Friday as well. This one system might bring us a chance of seeing some scattered rainfall and storms in the early morning hours on Friday, but then throughout the day on Friday, we also have a chance of seeing a couple of more scattered storms, especially throughout the afternoon hours, as we do have some partly cloudy skies and a high of 82 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, we stay below average, only reaching into the lower 80s, so similar to Friday. A chance of seeing some very light showers reach into the area Saturday, but that is a pretty slight chance as of now. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we'll see some more sunshine out there, mostly sunny skies. Still, low 80s are back until Wednesday. Wednesday of next week as we reach back into the mid 80s with a high of 84.